minutes. Welcome to our home cinema. Well, you maybe wonder how we can afford all this stuff. So let me tell you the story behind. So this is our home cinema area in our office. We usually chill here, sleep, watch movies or play some games. A year ago it looked really bad. A small Chinese LED projector, no consoles, two small speakers and a crappy amplifier. But now we got a 4K Sony projector, a Teufel audio system, almost every console on the market right now and much more. Many comments on my channel are you're arrogant because you're rich or similar. But most of the people just don't know how YouTube works. First there was just the idea of having a nice chill out area with a projector and some nice audio system. So we asked Sony if they would be interested and a bit later we could test out the new 4K Sony projector, the BW550ES. This projector is simply amazing and it's Sony's third generation of 4K projectors. With 14 kilograms of weight and the retail price of 10,000 euros, it's a real beast. It's also the first projector I've had in my hands with a motorized lens adjustment via the remote and autofocus zoom and image shifting. The headline features a native 4K resolution of 4096 x 2160 pixels and support for HDR playback, which really improves the gaming experience. I think Uncharted 4 never looked better before and also Forza Horizon with simulated 3D was just awesome. Talking about 3D, it comes with active shutter glasses and 3D is awesome, but it's not that immersive as I've imagined. Sony has boosted the dynamic contrast ratio by 20%, bringing it up to a very impressive 350,000 to 1. The brightness of 1800 lumens is the same as the old model, but way more brighter than our old projector. It supports 10-bit 4K up to 60 frames per second and the HDMI's are joined by Ethernet and USB ports for service updates. It truly delivers the most beautiful and impactful pictures I've ever seen from a projector. The black levels look deeper and more natural and the HDR expanded contrast range delivers a more natural look to the darkest end of the HDR light spectrum and while well, you got a remote of backlight and a hell load of calibration presets and more. Overall spectacular 4K capabilities and especially the beautiful HDR pictures make the 10,000 euro actually feel like a good value. But well, I could never afford that to be honest. What would be a home cinema without a great audio system? And something I can absolutely recommend is the Teufel Concept D audio system. We got the 450 digital 5.1 set and for the price of 600 euro it's simply amazing and I couldn't think of a better affordable small home cinema system. You can use this all-in-one solution for everything, gaming, streaming, music over Bluetooth and as home cinema audio system for watching movies or just listening to music. There are 5 satellite speakers included, but unfortunately no wall mounts, so we had to purchase them extra. Except of the mounts, there's everything included, what you need to get started. The center speaker is slightly wider than the satellite speakers, the reason is that there are two 80mm mid-range and a 90mm tweeter built into it and it comes with a small stand. Once you connected all your satellites to the subwoofer, which also includes an integrated sound card for your notebook for instance and all the ports, you can actually connect all your consoles or your TV or your notebook. That's a fun fact, it's designed to fit exactly under an IKEA working table. There is one easy way to connect all your things and this is to connect just your TV to the audio system. So you don't need to hook up every console or player over optical audio out. So we couldn't do that because our 4K projector had no audio out. But well, you got a lot of inputs, coax, Bluetooth, optical audio, analog audio or just a USB port for your notebook. The front touch panel can be used to switch the inputs and also just the speakers. Every single speaker can be adjusted and also the subwoofer to get the perfect balance for your room. I really have to say, the bass is insane and I usually just keep it at 60% because otherwise my neighbors would call the police. For sure there's a remote included which is battery powered and has also a nice red LED ring. The remote can be docked to the control panel and can be used to switch the input and adjust the volume. 
So all in all, it's a great audio system for your notebook because you can use it with a USB as external sound card or to stream your music over Bluetooth. And with some tuning, you should be able to reach impressive results in home theater for gaming and music. So this is definitely the audio solution I can recommend right now. And the great thing is that you also have eight weeks money back. So guys, the final question right now is, how do we afford all that? And should you sell yourself on YouTube? So usually we don't get money to produce these videos besides some sponsored content. But anyway, the benefit as a YouTuber is that you can just reach out to the companies and ask them about the products. And if you make good content, then your chances are pretty high that the company says, we'll give you the product and you just make a video for us. So if you're making videos, so if you have a blog, then just continue to produce great content and after some time the companies will just come to you and offer you products. But there is one thing you should definitely not do and this is sell yourself on YouTube. So this is something which a lot of YouTubers do right now, especially if they're beauty YouTubers. So there are three things you should remember. Stay honest, and tell your own story and be authentic. So there are many companies that will give you products after some great time if you continue to make great content. And after some time and hard work, you will be there. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like it and post a comment down below what you think about reviews on YouTube, if you trust them or not. And if you make videos on your own, feel free to share your channel down below in the comments. I might check it out if I have some spare time. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. Please also subscribe if you want to help us growing and not to miss any future content. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one.